Good morning, friends. I'm Dewey, and my Tech Talk topic for today is phone stuff, mainly. Most Apple users are already keenly aware of the mid-September introduction of the new iPhone 13, a revamped budget iPad, and an updated version of its iPad mini. The new iPhones were accompanied with the arrival of a new operating system, iOS 15, which launched as a free software update. Apple also unveiled a new Apple Watch Series 7 that has a redesigned look to provide more of a wraparound effect. Unlike the iPhone 13 and the new iPads launched in stores on September 24, Apple Watch 7 av availability was delayed. Apple.com began taking orders for the new Apple Watch Series 7 on Friday, October 8th, with availability in stores beginning this Friday, October 15th. It features the largest and most advanced Apple Watch display ever and a re-engineered always-on retina display with significantly more screen and thinner borders. Available in 41 millimeter and 45 millimeter sizes, the Apple Watch 7 series features a more crack-resistant front crystal. Apple also says that users benefit from the same all-day 18-hour battery life now complemented by 33% faster charging. Like its Series 6 predecessor, the Apple Watch Series 7 includes an electrical heart sensor, ECG app, and a blood oxygen sensor. New is the Watch OS 8, Operating System 8, to help users stay healthy, active, and connected through features like new types of workouts. Apple Watch Series 7 introduces five new aluminum case finishes. Three are shown in this photo. Stainless steel models are also available in silver, graphite, gold, and titanium. <clears throat> Except for revealing that prices start at $399, Apple has yet to disclose exact pricing. Updating this, a story at appleinsider.com today, Friday, October 7, indicated that, uh, well, the day I'm recording this, indicated that Apple Watch appears to be carrying over its pricing strategy from Apple Watch Series 6, with aluminum models topping out at $529 for variants with, self, with uh, cellular capabilities. Stainless steel versions start at $699 for 41 millimeter and move to $749 for the larger 45 millimeter case size. Apple watches with titanium chassis sell for $749 and, $799 and $849, depending on size. Information on the Apple Watch Hermes model was not included on the leaked price list. Andrew Heinzman at ReviewGeek.com reported that Google announced plans to host its Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro launch event on October 19. Its new Tensor chip optimizes camera performance, augmented reality, text-to-speech, the Google Assistant, and other artificial intelligence-powered software. If rumors pan out, the Pixel 6s will be the first Google device with a 50 megapixel main camera lens. Think of that, 50 megapixels. Indications are that it will also feature a 12 meg megapixel ultra wide camera and its optimized Tensor, ship, Tensor chip will extend battery life. Finally, the new Pixels may include ultra fast charging, a much needed improvement according to appleinsider.com. Apple isn't alone in introducing their new watch operating system eight. There's a flurry of info about the new Android 12 operating system. Last week, Cameron Faulkner, writing in theverge.com, predicted that its show-stopping features will change the way you use your Android phone. The Android 12 operating system will first be seen on Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro phones launching this coming Saturday and on a few select other devices later this year. Mr. Faulkner writes, for the most part, it's still Android. You can still easily get by without using the smattering of new features that Google buried in settings. The most obvious change 
is the new Material U design, Google's biggest design change in Android history. There's more color and more fun shapes. Android 12 design can look as loud or as subdued as you'd like. The animations you'll see when you power your device on or off or plug it into a charger all look refined and fluid. As the photo shows, it's possible to have a more understated look with icon colors to match. According to Android developers, Google says Android 12 will be coming to Samsung Galaxy, OnePlus, and other lesser well-known devices later this year and into 2022. However, since manufacturers use their own custom Android wrapper, Google's big material U design may not have the same amount of customization that you'll find on one of the new Pixel phones. That will make me unhappy. AndroidCentral.com revealed a few days ago that the coming Android 12 operating system will officially bring back dessert name monikers for its operating systems after discontinuing them after Android 9. Android 12 will be called Snow Cone. Looks yummy. Here are Android operating system dessert names in the last decade, that's since 2011. By the way, dessert names are also in alphabetical order. Like operating system three was honeycomb, four, ice cream sandwich, 4.1, jelly bean, 4.4, Kit Kat, five, lollipop, six, marshmallow, seven, nougat, eight, Oreo, and nine, pie. I have an Android uh, Galaxy S8, and it's on Pi. Google has confirmed that it's shutting down its Android Auto app for phone screens with the coming Android 12 operating system, according to John Porter in TheVerge.com. Instead, anyone who wants a driving-friendly interface for their Android phone should use the Google Assistant driving mode, which is available within Google Maps or the native Android auto interface that is available in select automobile models. Those who've been using the Android auto mobile app will be transitioned to the Google Assistant driving mode. An article last week in lifehacker.com uh, strongly advises against speaking when you get a robocall. Even a one word answer of yes could put you at a risk for scam. Huh, a scam. In rare cases, phone scammers can record your voice with the intent to impersonate you in order to make fraudulent purchases, but it's more likely they're simply confirming your phone number is active and can be used or sold for scams later. Or better yet, it's advised, just let those calls go to voicemail. Well, I'll tell you, I have a little different take on it. Uh, I freely admit that I don't want to clog my, first of all, I don't want to clog my voicemail with such robocalls. So what I do is I put on sort of a, a phony brogue and answer these robocalls by saying, hello? Well, <laughs> it doesn't take but a couple of moments. There, but there's a moment of silence and all of a sudden there's a click. I almost never get an answer. Anyway, that's my tech talk story for today. And the good Lord knows I'm having so much fun with this. I am sticking with it. Please stay safe and good Lord willing, we'll see you next week.